I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzyme Mental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to tell you a little bit more about PQQ, or pyroloquinoline quinone, what I've called the nutrient of the future, and also the ultimate antioxidant. And specifically, I wanted to tell you about PQQ's effect on bone density, and consequently osteoporosis. So many people think of osteoporosis as a disease that primarily affects elderly women, but in reality, osteoporosis is a substantial threat to countless aging men also. The decline in testosterone that occurs with age is believed to be a primary cause of frail bones and increased fracture risk in men, and along with this testosterone deficiency may induce osteoporosis by causing oxidative stress. So supplementing with PQQ has been shown to protect bone strength by preventing the decline in bone cell function. So as a result, PQQ significantly slowed testosterone deficiency related osteoporosis. PQQ, as I've told you, is best known for its ability to promote the generation of new mitochondria in the heart, brain, and other tissues. And that's one of the reasons I love it so much. It's really helped my brain better than anything else I've ever taken. But it looks like PQQ might be very helpful for the bones also. Osteoporosis is, of course, the gradual loss of bone mass and strength, and over time it produces progressively fragile and weaker bones, elevating the risk for fractures that can be disabling and very costly, and also even lead to premature death. Osteoporosis was long thought of as a disease exclusive to postmenopausal women, but osteoporosis is now actually recognized as a substantial threat to men also. Studies show that men lose up to 1% of bone per year beginning at age 50 as testosterone levels significantly drop. And this represents a major health concern because men are much more likely than women to become disabled or to die after suffering an osteoporotic fracture. Researchers aware of the role played by oxidative stress in the development of osteoporosis in men have set out to determine if PQQ could slow or reverse the impact of oxidative stress on bone tissue in mice with low testosterone levels, and the results of their study was quite amazing. The researchers used male mice that had been castrated. So castrating the mice results in low testosterone levels similar to those seen in aging men, thereby creating what you would think of as male menopause. Next, the low testosterone mice were divided into two groups, one that received supplemental PQQ and one that did not. A control group was not castrated, of course, and was not given PQQ. And what these researchers looked for during the course of their study, which was 48 weeks long, they compared outcomes such as bone mineral density, bone volume, deposits of connective protein collagen, and numbers of bone-forming osteoblast cells. So as expected, the untreated low testosterone mice had significant reductions in all measures of bone integrity, such as mineral density and bone volume, and increased activity of bone reabsorbing osteoclast cells, which break down the bone, and higher markers of bone loss and DNA damage. By contrast, the low testosterone mice that received the PQQ had significantly less bone loss, higher numbers of osteoblasts, which are the cells that form new bone, more bone forming activity, and lower activity of bone resorbing osteoclasts. So this demonstrates PQQ's promise to not only protect against bone loss associated with low testosterone, but also to support healthy, youthful bones. For the low testosterone mice that were not treated with PQQ, resembling the situation frequently seen in older men with declining testosterone, images show profound bone mineral and volume loss, as you would expect, but the images of the low testosterone mice supplemented with PQQ reveal something amazing. Bone mineral density and volume was significantly greater than the untreated low testosterone mice, and their bone density was similar to those of the healthy mice with youthful testosterone levels. The study also revealed that PQQ has other bone protecting benefits, including significant reductions in markers of DNA damage, showing that bone breakdown was being prevented, significantly increased deposits of collagen, 
bone, which is of course the essential connective tissue protein, which along with bone minerals creates the structure of bone, and also significantly increased levels of natural free radical scavenging systems in bone tissue. So how exactly does PQQ restore bone integrity to what we would think of as a youthful state? It does this in a couple different ways. First of all, PQQ promotes the activity of bone forming osteoblasts. And PQQ accomplishes this by stimulating the proliferation of primitive bone marrow stem cells and their maturation into osteoblasts rather than other cells such as bone resorbing osteoclasts. PQQ also inhibits the bone resorbing actions of osteoclasts. And PQQ promotes new bone formation and inhibited bone resorption by reducing oxidative stress and DNA damage. So the ability to reduce the breakdown of bone while promoting the formation of new bone sets PQQ apart from and actually above most osteoporosis treatments, which are typically drugs that slow the breakdown of bone but do not promote the formation of new youthful bone tissue. So by interfering with the oxidative stress induced by testosterone deficiency, PQQ actually promotes youthful regeneration of bone tissue and less aggressive bone breakdown, essentially reestablishing youthful bone integrity. And as I've told you, a great daily dose of PQQ is 20 milligrams per day. And that's the dose you'll usually find in most supplement preparations of PQQ. So try to take that every day, ideally if it's paired with CoQ10 or ubiquinol. And of course, PQQ can be taken in conjunction with ample exercise and proper daily intake of magnesium, vitamins D and K2, which pull calcium into the bone tissue, of course, collagen, and even a small amount of calcium. And even my favorite way to enhance bone density and overall bone support, weight-bearing exercises. So all of these things can help, but it looks like including PQQ in your bone support formula might help you even more. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.